Committee on Human Rights has expressed the need for the National Agency for the Prohibition of Trafficking Persons, NAPTI, to carry the committee along as they are expected to work hand in hand. The chairman of the committee, Dr. Peter Abiola Makinde, stated this during NAPTI budget defense with the committee. Um, budget uh, presentation, of course, you know, um, we, let me first commend uh, the effort of NAPTI, the management so far for what you're doing. I will be paying close attention to all your activities and um, I must commend um, your work uh, and also appreciate the fact that um, uh, the whole team had been committed to uh, doing this job. I've seen some of your data as far as um, the convictions that you've been able to record during your time. And I pay close attention to also the ones that um, you're struggling to, to get done. And of course, there's nothing in this world that would not um, involve some challenges, of course. So but what we are doing today, of course, our members are interested in this committee because one way or the other, I'll use Sonia Buja as a very good example. Chibok, 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 since Ninth Assembly. <laughs> <in that. laughs> you know, I've known him since Ninth Assembly, but uh, he has been on ground for a long time. He represents the good people of uh, Chibok. And several other members here that are really concerned uh, and they are really interested in NAPTI, and that's why they are part of this committee. Given a rundown of the NAPTI structure and quick appraisal, of the 2023 budget, the DG Professor Fatima Ozie, as he mentioned, amongst the needs of NAPTI, adequate budgetary allocations, and consistent releases of the budget to support NAPTI every operations, as they only receive eight out of twelve. We are at war. Human trafficking. Human traffickers are ruthless and good at hiding. The reality of what is happening in, to Nigerians and consequently to Nigeria is disturbing. And this must change or all will be lost, lives, freedoms, and values. In the agency's 20 years of existence, NAPTIP has relied on donor organizations for its operational needs in terms of vehicles, security communication equipment, working tools, as well as capacity building for its staff. And this is not sustainable as there is currently donor fatigue and the donor purse is shrinking as the day goes by. Most of the support from partners are offered in terms of technical support tied to specific projects and provision of specified operational needs. What NAPTIP needs is adequate budgetary allocation and consistent releases to support our everyday operations. Honorable members, human trafficking is not about statistics. It is the faces, the stories, and the hopes of those who suffer. And we must recognize that behind every face, behind every case, there's a human face. And what and when we do not prioritize issues of human trafficking, making it front and center, people die. This brings me to the report on um, the 2023 budget performance. Honorable Chairman, honorable members, you may wish to note that a total sum of Two billion eight hundred and eighty-one million five hundred and eleven thousand three hundred and thirty-two naira only was appropriated to the agency. It's on page seven. Page seven was appropriated to the agency in 2023 Appropriation Act. The sum is made up of the following: page seven for personal cost. We had two billion and ninety-two million eight hundred. 1,913 Naira only. For overhead cost, we had 599,902,323 Naira only. For capital appropriation, we had 188,808,096 Naira. In terms of releases and percentages for personnel cost, 79 Point oh one um, percent has been released. For overhead cost, we only have sixty six 
point sixty seven. So in twelve months, we've only re re received eight allocations. Then for capital appropriation, it's nil. The twenty twenty three internally generated revenue for the year twenty twenty three for tenders fees we had um, two hundred and fifty thousand naira only. Then for clearance fees, we had 5,480,000 Naira only. And honorable members might wonder what the, clearance, what the clearance fee is. So in 2019, the then um, honorable attorney general issued what we call the Trafficking in Persons Control of Activities and Centers Regulation 2019. And what this regulation 2019 does is it gives NAPTI the powers to control and issue what we call clearance certificates to certain categories of persons. So to tour operators, to travel agents, to labor recruiters, to sporting agents, and for all individuals seeking to travel out of Nigeria for say cultural activities, educational ex um, excursions, sporting activities, or um, labor recruitment. And also for organizations that operate um, shelters and homes for the purpose of the rehabilitation of um, human trafficking uh, victims. So last year, what we did was we automized the process from registration to issuance of this certificate. It's done 100% online. And this we did in collaboration with other agencies, with CAC, in the event that the organization uploads their registration document, the, 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 um, the contact person can log into the system and verify. If it has to do with labor, the Ministry of Labor, they have access to the portal. If it has to do with um, maybe educational excursion, the Ministry, the Federal Ministry of um, Education, they have access. And also, of course, the Nigerian Immigration Services. Then also, it, it applies to organizations that run shelters and homes. You go on there, you follow the procedure, then there's a calendar where you pick a date, and depending on where the shelter is located across Nigeria, we deploy our officers to go and inspect this shelter and inspect these homes. We have our stipulated minimum standard that shelters will have to meet. And once they check the boxes, we issue a, um, a certificate for the next five, five years. So since we started the implementation of this regulation 2019, which was issued in 2019, we were, we've been able to generate 5,730,000 Naira only. The chairman of the committee, Honorable Dr. Makinde, and some members of the committee during interactive session frowns at some unjustified documents presented by the agency. If there is no summary, I, I think they will have to come back. Yes. Okay. Length of their being here is to make presentation of the whole budget. A nominal run is an item of the budget to be presented. Let them present substantial part of the budget today, then the nominal rolls copy will be provided to honorable members, and members have every reason to make their inputs through the office of the chairman. If you want to know objection, I move this should be carried by the table, by the chair. Performance. The nominal role is part of the budget performance, which they have to present it before moving to the budget presentation. So in view of this, if the chairman can answer the member, that this matter will be collected and will be given later after the budget. So move on. After our presentation, there will be, of course, there will be time for consideration, which we will sit back and consider. So we believe that by the time we are doing consideration, uh, all those documents who are not here, if they are, if they are serious, we should have a document when we are doing consideration. Yes. So for today, we should, we should hear them. And uh, after hearing them, then when we are doing consideration, we can look at all the documents they submitted. Let's move forward with it. In the consideration, make yourself available, the management team, to be able to furnish us all the documents that we need. Do not take the committee for granted. Um, please, all the management team, you know, not only your guy, but all of you, please, please, please work with her to make sure that we get what we need. If I don't get it, I will step it down.
The chairman of the committee, Honorable Peter Makinde, reiterated the need for required documents to be submitted to the committee. Comfort Olainka, DCTV News.